episode 39 of Recap Attack, the, uh, a weekly look into all things news, tech, gaming, uh, sexual intercourse, especially that, um, non-sexual intercourse, okay. culture, sounds like same non-sexual <laughs> culture, and, uh, sexual video games? Yeah, sexy video games. Sexy video games. You forgot one thing. Well, sexual chocolate. And sexual, sexual chocolate. chocolate. Of course. Uh, I'm the Mayor Munster, and with me as always are Sergio and Jose. A veritable pantheon of uh, not of, white people. Of assholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I think this is the first tech show slash news show slash vlog vlog show. That well, doesn't have white people in it. Vlog show. Yeah. I'm, it works by the way, we're awesome for not having white people. It's really popular. Although, I am Caucasian. But you're not a white people. Yeah. I'm not Anglo. By, by uh... But you're, you're but not by, a white people, so we're still awesome. By the US definition, they look at your skin. Oh, well technically so am I. And you're not white. But I'm not a white people. Yeah. <laughs> Quote me. I'm not a white people. Jose, I am people. not a white people. <laughs> yep, that's right. <laughs> Do that. I'm not so a white people. Since, since we're on the topic of white people, you know where the whitest people come from? Sweden. Really? Yeah, I, I think. I, I would guess like France. You, you know, I got a. No, Sweden, they're all blonde. I got I got a little thing about Sweden real quick. Oh, yeah? I had a Swedish guy dish. come in. Swedish. 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 Uh huh. Like the fish? What? What? <laughs> Like Swedish fish? Yeah. There's a Swedish fish apparently, guys. It's candy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Nasty. Is it any good? No. Yeah, that's alright. I wouldn't <laughs> picture anything from Sweden being good. <laughs> Swedish women. Touche. Touche. You got me there. And Rabaz, king of Sweden. Um, and king of nipples. Yes, nipples. He saves the <laughs> <his> children. <laughs> what? <laughs> alright, you guys lost me. I don't, I don't know what happened. Anyway, um, no, I had a guy come in. This might lose you, but I, I told him here. Uh, I had a guy come in uh, yesterday. Uh -huh. He's from Sweden, and I and he wanted and he wanted footwear. He wanted footwear. Right, right, because they're expensive in Sweden apparently. Like they're <laughs> shoes are expensive in Sweden. Right, they're like double or the kind of shoes that you sell. Yeah, they're okay. like double the price. What? Yeah. Okay, well then I, I guess that makes sense. Right. So he, he's gonna like when you go to Mexico, you buy a bunch of booze that right. you, that is expensive here. Yeah, like exactly. Patron and, and then you just Presidente and exactly. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah, bring yeah. it back here and then it's great. Okay, but. He came in, and I had to restrain myself from asking him if he knew Rabaz. You should have. I really wanted to. Why didn't you? Because I didn't want. To I like, would have. I would have been that guy. I didn't I want to like, that guy. I didn't want to like make him upset or like confuse <laughs> him, and then go into this whole thing about who Rabaz. Oh is. yeah. Because probably cause, smart for you not to do that. Because I, I would have when he would have asked me who's Rabaz, I would have immediately said the king of Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know he was Swedish? Was he like, hey, I'm Sven from Swedish? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes in, he's got, he's got the accent. Swedish. He's got the accent, clearly, and then he... Well, just because he's got an accent. No, 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 he comes in and he's like, you know, you know I'm from Sweden, and you know... <laughs> oh, come on! Your <laughs> accents are always so terrible. Whatever, they're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> do a Mexican guy. Hey, I'm from Mexico. <laughs> let me, let me do see a it. Russian guy. Hey, I'm from Russia. <laughs> hey, that's do good. a Chinese guy. Hey, I'm from Chinese. <laughs> <It's a Chinesia. laughs> <laughs> Nobody came in. <laughs> High fives all around. Yes! That was awesome! <laughs> we got that on video. That was yeah. the coolest high five ever. Um, do it again, do it again. Yes! yes. Triple sandwich. I, I have the weirdest boner <laughs> <laughs> from that high five. Uh, speaking of weird boners, I sent you a. Uh, boners? Boners. <laughs> mm. I sent you a link to uh, Ravas King of Sweden's Tumblr. Oh god. He has a tumbler? I well, a fan, fan has, has a drink all over my laptop. A fan has a tumbler. I know. I was about to spit grape drink on it. Anyway, it's in the uh, it's in the chat section of the doc. What? Okay, let me look this up here. Chat. Of the doc. Oh. Okay. And each doc has its own little chat window. Oh this one? Yeah. Okay. Let's I don't see. get that apparently. <sighs> oh, yeah, make me copy and paste things. Come on, man. No, because no, I sent two two mates. Oh, so okay. The internet just gave me the middle finger, guys. Yeah, pretty much. I love it when that what happens. What is this? Okay, so from there. Okay. 
<laughs> that was insane. That's the greatest dental appointment ever. <laughs> yeah. Whenever he hits someone in the face in a game, he screams dental appointment. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dental, Dental appointment. appointment. <laughs> Dental appointment. I don't get it. I have to. I clearly I'm not in the loop, so I, I have yeah, to. Yeah, you gotta get yeah, in the loop. He, he's a uh, Odin jerks off something. Odin jerks off to this Tumblr or to this blog. <sighs> All right. Well, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's a. Uh, What's a, the second link? I almost don't even want to know. It's just to the. Uh, the main side, not to that specific post. Oh, it's the guy that did the fisticuffs yes, uh, uh, video. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay, I, I like that guy. You gotta watch more of him. He's yeah. he's so great. I've never heard him say dental appointment in he that video. It, he oh, said it the, the whole time. time. Really? Yeah. Every time he hit someone in the face, I thought he was just, point. No, I it's, thought he was just saying like badass. It is. Oh, he does say badass a lot, yeah. and he says pussy. Because he's such a bad He says pussy. Yeah. And uh, pussy. when he plays Valve, he's like. He's like, to be the pussy, you've got to think like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So All right. I can't like the pussy. Right I, I like the I like the uh, Skyrim video, but I, yeah. I guess I didn't. No, uh, you gotta no, watch I, the other stuff. He's right, hilarious. I got to. King of Sweden. Okay. Yeah. Noted. Yep. But anyway, Swedish people. Piracy. The Swedes. Right. Oh, oh, this, yes. Okay. I love this. Uh, Heard about this. Yeah, so there was a report that went out, like, everywhere. Mm that the the people from behind, from the Pirate Bay are looking to expand uh, their their service by sending drones out into international waters <coughs> and file sharing. Uh, it's such an drones, awesome idea. Yeah, it's like out of a James Bond uh, yeah. movie. It's like that's what the villain would do is like we'll go out into international waters and host files that are copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told him about this. Since uh, when are international waters like the end all? Like I could go out and like rape thirty children. You can in international waters yeah, and like and be okay with it. Yeah, you can. The I'm only, gonna get a boat now. The only one that's watching <laughs> is God. The trouble but is, most getting... likely he won't stop you. I don't think he would. No. It's probably like, eh, they had it coming. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> they had it That's coming. That's what they got for getting on a boat with exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> Lesson learned. Yeah. <laughs> um, they, the, they should have known. Stranger I, danger. I told Amir this because I thought it was crazy. It's like at this point, the money that they're going to spend doing this, they might as well just pay everyone. But he's like, it's the principle. It is the principle. It, it is, is the principle. principle. And I get that too. And, uh,. On that related story, yeah. turns out it was a hoax. Well, the thing is, I read that, and it doesn't even say that it's a hoax. Like, there's no source from anyone at the Pirate Bay claiming that, yes, it is indeed a hoax. It's just this guy... Who, uh, How plausible this, do you think that... Oh, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, absolutely. Right, right. Okay, but that doesn't... The notion that they would say that they were going to do it, though, gives me the strangest boner. Yeah. <laughs> I really yes. want it to happen. Like, that would be so badass. No, it would be it? badass. I'd love it. I'd pirate everything. I already pirate everything. I would re pirate everything. <laughs> yeah. I would yeah. triple pirate everything. Right. Uh, was it, that reminds me, like. I would. No, no, no. I wouldn't. No, right, right now, I pirate everything. I would pirate and sell my pirated stuff. <laughs> you would go even just, way just, more. Yeah, I'd go way further. past it. Yeah, go I'd be like, further. fuck it, I'm selling these now. Uh, that, that reminds me, they were, uh, on an episode of Dignation once, they wanted to build essentially the same idea, except instead of a, a drone going out to the water, it would. Uh, it was a van that would just drive around the country so they could never pin the IP to any Guerrilla torrenting? Yeah. yeah just that's that awesome. Style. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I like the idea. I really not possible, and, and I don't think it'll. No, happen. no. The, our whole article that you linked was like, it's totally doable. They got that shit right now. Yeah. Okay. It's like this could be but, done like cost effectively now. It. Yeah. But will they do it? That's but the, the guy's like, I think they're just bullshitting. But that was the whole article. It was like, <laughs> I don't think they're being serious. I don't think they. But are. this is entirely doable. It's plausible. <laughs> Even though I just said it wasn't <laughs> minutes ago. Myth, Mythbusters. Mythbusters. Yeah, plausible. we just yeah. saw it right here. Yeah. Mythbusters. But uh, I, th I think I think that'd be awesome. It would. It would. I mean, and I would probably get thrown in prison for selling pirated stuff if that happened. Hey, you just gotta do it like you gotta do it like those people that never get caught. Yeah, you know. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. Let me just do it like that. You do. You do it. You gotta find the right place. You know, the swap meet. Exactly. <laughs> you just sell DVDs. Man, Pretty much, I mean, you're good. That's like international waters of Arizona. Yeah, it really is. 
Pretty much. I, I saw a Neo Geo there one time for 30 bucks. Shut up. I did. No, you didn't. I did. Why didn't you buy it? Because I didn't have any money at the time. I literally had nothing you should've on called me. me. I'd have bought it like three times. Yeah. <laughs> like, here's $90. You're down <laughs> here right now. <laughs> yeah, it came with a uh, Samurai Showdown. You bastard. I know. You left that. I let it slide. Yeah. <coughs> Bless you. Bless. Oh, jeez. I'm allergic to that thing. Something. <laughs> no, I like cats. I'm not allergic to cats. I thought you were. No. I, ha I own a cat. I know, but <laughs> I thought you just brushed them a lot. I, her. Well, I do brush her a lot. Because I'm a good pet owner. Okay, that's good. Yeah. He doesn't get brushed, like, ever. That's why he's so crazy. Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> he's just sitting there, for, for the record. He's just sitting there like... Oh, and then he went to sleep. <laughs> uh, now he's doing less than just sitting there. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh. Uh, but yeah, um, let's change the topic. Right. I don't know how to segue into this one. Yeah, I really don't even know yeah. how to even talk about it. Yeah. Uh, Transvestites, we'll just leave it at that. Done. Story's over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, um, okay, so the family, some, some church group, I don't remember... They're the ones who bitched about, uh... The Florida Family Association. Yeah, them. They're the ones who bitched... They sound like douchebags. They are douchebags. They're the ones who bitched that the show, uh, All American Muslim did not portray, uh, Muslims. It portrayed them too positively and that it was propaganda because, as we all know, all Muslims are terrorists. Oh, I knew that. Yeah. yeah. Didn't you know that? I know. I I'm pretty sure... I practically live with the mirror. You should yeah. see the bombs he made. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah? Show them to me. Yeah. Big boys. <laughs> You know what this is? This is a not, bomb? Not water. Wait, is that water owned by a Muslim or owned by a non-Muslim? Non -Muslim? Muslim. That's a bomb. It's a bomb. It's right a there. bomb. How dare you, sir? <laughs> That's mostly um, napalm. So you just cleverly disguised it as water so you could, like, throw it at innocent children. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Freaking What's Muslims, with? man. And, and he drinks it. Wow. It's crazy. You're made yeah. out of napalm? Drink yeah. <laughs> Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <That's Aha>. um, <laughs> I've been I've been waiting to drop that bomb all week. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> oh. oh Jesus. But uh anyway that So group, those douchebags those douchebags right. Right. were complaining because uh currently in the game The Old Republic Mm. Is there Muslims in that game? No. There should be. There should be. Because those motherfuckers. Yeah. I'll tell well, you. Well, there what. was one left in the universe, right? Yeah, but in in all of uh, sci-fi, there's like almost all Arabs died out apparently. Because look look at sci-fi, you don't see any Arabs. You don't see any Mexicans either. Okay. Well, well, they blended in the blood. You no. can see that though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They're Fair all enough. gone, with the exception of one, which is in Star Trek: Deep Space Nine, Doctor Bashir. Well, that's because he's in deep space. That's because he's in deep space, but he's the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're assuming he doesn't have like a family back home or something? Does no, he? he doesn't. He's the last. Motherfuckers. He's it. Um, it's all the napalm they're drinking. Yeah, seriously. clearly. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> 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 no, but in the old republic, uh, right now you can. Like in all Bioware games, you can have a relationship with another with an NPC. Right. Okay. Wait. You can romance. Why would NPC. you romance a non-playable character? Because you can do that in all Bioware games, like Mass Effect or Dragon Age. Mm -hmm. uh, I did it like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good segue like, in our next. <laughs> I was like, I was like, should... I was like Morgan. I hit A. Right there. Well, <laughs> so, hit A some more. Oh yeah, hit A. Oh my God, Sergio, oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're like, give me a turbo button. Yeah, Let me do the pencil trick. For those of you that know anything about arcades, yeah. the pencil trick. It's old school. Track and field. Look it up. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, but, we didn't. We haven't even talked about. I know. Okay. So the Muslims. Ro the romancing. Romancing NPCs. Uh, only goes heterosexual right now. And how dare they? Bioware always seeks to uh, include uh, gay relationships in their games, mm -hmm. either by patch or by re at the initial release. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they always do that because they want to represent every sure every group, and you know I, I think that's cool. Whatever. What I, why, why wouldn't they yeah. be able to? Yeah, but this why not even make love to a lamp? I yeah. love lamp. 
That's what? too far. <laughs> That's I'm pushing the envelope too yeah, much? Yeah, I'm pushing oh, the envelope. All right. Well, I do love Lamp. Keep, right keep it in, oh. in the, the same place. That's pictures. a good movie reference. It is. Love lamp. Thank you. Thank you. I love Lamp. <laughs> do you actually love the Lamp, or do you just say... Yeah, I love Lamp. <laughs> uh, um, if, if, if I was going to say 10 points to the person who gets that, but... 10 it's points to me! 10 <laughs> points to the person who doesn't get that, because you should get that off the... Of, you know, without even thinking about it. Do you get it? I actually don't get it. Get out. Oh, <laughs> get out through the balcony. They just jump. Get out. I don't know what mine. Uh, <laughs> anyway, dare you. they're complaining that this will open up to uh, what they kept referring, referring to as Darth Rupala, which is <laughs> that they're gonna they're gonna like poison our children's minds with ideas that it's okay to be like transgender and whatnot. And they're like, we're not including that in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my beef with that, okay? <laughs> if your child is so vulnerable that playing a video game turns them into a transsexual, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but that kid was probably going to end up in transsexual anyway. Regardless. Yeah. 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 I I'm really... Yeah. It's like, it's like those kids that, you know, they run around, play with purses and dolls, and their parents are like, no, 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 no. You know what's going to happen. I think, I, think it's the, I think it's the parent saying, no, 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 don't do that turns it into a, oh, now I'm going to do it. Yeah, type thing. You know? You know, it's, it's, like it's one what? of those things that they they just, that's what they're going to do. I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure it's not very but, uh, <clears throat> uncommon for, like, a kid to play with well, I'm just saying, mom's, mom's in, shoes or something. In my experience, no, I don't I've seen, I've grown up with three different kids that all, like, were very feminine as children. And then they grew up gay. Oh. Yeah. Just saying. Well, I like, you can kind of see it coming from my way, especially as an adult. Yeah. Um, you can even ask my sister, one of her friends. Uh, for years, he did that. And everyone's like, it's okay. You know, it's fine. He's like, no, for years, he wouldn't say anything about it. And then one day, like, during his senior year of high school, he's like, he came out. And, and we're like, we know. And he's like, how did you know? It's like, it was so Oh obvious. my God. Yeah. yeah. Like, Come on. How did you know? How did you uh, know? I know you. I have, know you. I have I've been around you for a little while. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Okay. And it's like, it's not bad. I'm just saying, like, it happens. It's yeah, like, just, absolutely. Just let them be. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. No, in, um, in my high school, we had this kid. Uh, what high school? Tucson High. Nice. Okay. And we had this kid, Dominic, who. Uh, black kid. No. Wow. First black kid I've ever known that. I mean, first non <laughs> first non black kid I've ever known that didn't have that name. No, Dominic, who. Uh, that what? Wait. He he announced his senior year that he was <laughs> you know gay. What I'm uh -huh. that was he, he white? Was yeah. Okay. Uh, Are you sure he wasn't black? Dominic Vendel. He, he did have big lips. His name is Dominic Vendel. <laughs> oh my god, Sergio. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, yeah, someone had to say it. Alright. He's Dominic <laughs> Vendel, and if somehow he's watching this, you know, I don't mean any offense, but this is what happened. Uh, he's, he's crossing his fingers, by the way. <laughs> Dominic. Just so you know. Uh, it's me. No, he, he announced that he was gay, and everyone was like, did you know he was gay? And I was like... Of course I fucking knew he was gay. Uh, they, who he got who handed he a wasn't. picture of Cher and he squealed once. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> What's the surprise? Oh man, that's too bad. Uh, well, I mean, that's, you know, it's true. It's like, I, I haven't been caught off. Well, actually, that's not true. I have been where... Caught that you were gay? <laughs> no. <laughs> caught off guard that someone told me that they were gay and I didn't know it. Right. Or at least suspected well, something. Not, yeah, not every gay person is like flamboyant. Right, no, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. One of my dad's friends, uh, surprisingly gay for like 30 years. No one knew. What? No one knew. For 30 years? Dude, he was like the Jesus. manliest gay man I've ever met. No, it's not anyone else's business, well, I guess. Well, right. So, I, yeah. I mean, I get it. Who the fuck cares? It, really? It's like you were saying, you know, they're not all flamboyant. Mm -hmm. This guy, he worked on a drilling rig, big burly man, you know. That kind of sounds gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big burly man. Other man who all working and sweating. Yeah. On a drilling rig. Holy crap. Why that is, that sounds it? very gay. Wow. It's like the, was it like that episode of The Simpsons where the... The steel mill? Is yeah. The yeah! Bart ends up gay at the end of the episode? That's a good one. Yeah. But, well, no. He, he, he wasn't like those guys, though. I mean, he did I, everything else. I knew a guy that was similar, and now thinking, as I'm going to describe him, 
he's gonna sound incredibly gay. <laughs> at the time, but at the funny. time, I was like, that's a straight guy. <laughs> so my buddy Ben and I used to go to work out at um, uh, Clement Center. It's a little park slash gym, uh, city gym by um, by my house, and we used to go every day and work out. And uh, there was this guy. Uh, I think his name was. Bruce? No, it wasn't Bruce. It wasn't his dad. No, it wasn't his dad's <laughs> name. It was something like manly like that though. You know, like, Bruce you think... is kind of a gay name. Bruce is not a Bruce, gay name. Bruce is kind of a That's gay Batman's name. name. How dare you? It's, yeah. it's look, Batman Bruce, will murder you. Bruce Wayne is awesome. Bruce Campbell is amazing. But Bruce is kind of a gay name. That's not a gay name. I don't know what you're it's talking kind about. Of well, whatever. Really his name was Gary. His name was Gary. That's a man name. That we, is a man we, name. We discussed man names in the last yeah, ep yeah. episode. That but is man anyway, Gary, he was dude. He was fucking like. Like this, right? And he used to work uh, construction, mm -hmm. and uh, we'd see him every once in a while. And I mean, he was like, dude, built like he was just like big, buff, burly man, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he like give us tips and and uh, you know like um, how should I put it? like uh, advice, I guess, right. on how to how to work out better, more efficiently, and right, stuff. Right, right. And uh, yeah, I mean, I he'd always have gloves on. He was a biker. He had a big bike or whatever, you know, big old stash like this he was an older guy too he was right. like in his 60s maybe and for someone to be that fit and in, in, in their 60s um you know it says a lot yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, we were having a discussion one one day with him and he he just like brings up randomly that he's gay and that he's got a boyfriend or something that he like broke up with his wife and whatever because of it and i was just like whoa didn't see that coming at all like i wasn't thinking this guy's gay but as I describe him, a big, burly, hairy man that's right. a biker. Right. See, that's what just happened to me. Exactly. Like, I'm just like, like that sounds like a gay guy. Drilling with, like getting <laughs> yeah. nice and sweaty and oily. It's yeah. like, oh. But okay. a, that's a, a good, uh, you know, example of not all gay men are flamboyant. Flamboyant yes. gay. Yeah. Yeah. Some are definitely under the gaydar. Yeah. You don't see it coming. Uh, so. Yeah. So anyway, I think these Florida douchebags should. Yeah, they, they keep making a bunch of bullshit. Eat a big bowl of dicks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as much as they probably wouldn't like that, I'm sure they would. They would. Eating a bowl of dicks. Yeah. But that does kind of guys into our next, our next uh, topic. Sort of. Kind of. Because it is kind of related. Yeah. It's about romance. Uh, I think you should just read the. Uh, the infographic. Yeah, just read the infographic, because it's you can't really sum it all up. Yeah. Uh, the infographic is about whether uh, gamers get girls, and specifically MMO players. And sp uh, more specifically, WoW, WoW players. WoW players. And I would say yes. You think so? I definitely. Statistically? I wouldn't think so, and then after reading this uh, infographic, I'm surprised at the numbers, because... It, and it makes sense... Mine broke. Good job. <laughs> it makes sense because, for one, the number of people that play WoW compared to the population of humanity yeah. are... Is larger. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's more larger. It's larger. I mean, look look what I'm wearing. Yeah. <laughs> Get out. Dude. Actually, I used to play WoW when I was Horde. For the Horde, dude. For the Horde. For the Horde. It's the only way Indeed. to go. It's Indeed. the only... We're all Horde players here, I guess, yeah. yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Ah, yes. yes. <laughs> I feel, dude. Every time I do that, we I gotta get a, a picture of just our just hands. That. Yeah. Awesome. You know, every time we do that, I just realize it goes off screen. Whatever. Oh wait. Here we go. Wait. Ah. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so read the infographic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how does online gaming stack up against uh, online, online dating. dating? It's bigger. That's uh, what she said. Number... <laughs> ah. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Uh, number one dating site eHarmony has about a million members, whereas Wow has twelve million. So what? You, you yeah. just have a, a when did Wow pool. become twelve million people? Oh, wow. When uh, cattle, cattle, it actually cattle. lost people. That's after losing. What? Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Okay. It lost us. Wait, how many people are in the United States? Three hundred million, roughly. 300 million, and out of those 300, 12. Well, actually, 12 aren't all 12 are in the United yeah. States. Okay, well, I guess that's not as shocking as I thought it was. Go on with the... So they got a bigger pool already. Uh -huh. uh, they're younger, on average. Uh, WoW players are roughly 32, whereas online uh, 
dating sites that are roughly 48. Damn, Median we're, ages. We're getting old. We're roughly 32. <laughs> Median Holy age shit. for for uh, WoW gamers or is 32? It's 32, yeah. Then why is it that every time I go into a raid, all I hear is 12-year-olds screaming at each other? Because it's the same same reason why you, uh, whenever you get on, like, uh, Call of Duty, all you hear is 12-year-olds. Because they're the there. only ones bitching. Yeah, Touche. <laughs> they're yeah. not me there. They're, yeah. One, they're the only there. ones bitching, and two, they're the only ones with fucking free time to, like, be doing that shit. Right. True. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've got shit to do. Yeah. I do. Nine okay. times out of ten. And women to have sex with. Exactly. Exactly. By women, I mean my me. wife. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Woman, ladies. Ah, this guy. Um, no, nine times out of ten, uh, it's their children. Or their, bleh, now I lost my place. Oh, anyway, right. yeah, uh, go for it. <laughs> people play uh, games lo for uh, more time. I can't believe this part of the infographic is. I mean, okay, so it shows uh, an illustration of clocks and. Yeah. Online dating average is 1.4 hours a month. Yep. Which sounds like a lot. Well, like they who, go in, they check if they got a, a notification. So still, like one and a half hours a month? That's a long time. Mm. Staring at a dating website. It, they're desperate. Well, the thing is, they, they are desperate. If they're if you're 48 and you're on a dating website, you're probably pretty desperate. Yeah. And I think they, they treat them a lot as like a social network. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. And on the flip side, online gaming average... 34.6 hours. That used to be me. I'm so that glad I don't play WoW anymore. Wow, well, yeah. Wow. I think we all hit that point at some Yeah, I hit it time. much earlier. That is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I got tired of WoW at like level 25. I don't even know. What I got to like level 40 and I was like, this is gay. No, I I, I did went through all of the Burning Crusade, went through all of Lich King, and then finally got tired of it. Yeah. It's mostly because of people. The game was alright. I'm gonna say I had a lot of fun playing the game. I didn't have a lot of fun interacting with the people because they're all twelve year olds. Because they're all twelve year olds somehow, um, even though statistically. Well, no, it's because like years. like he said, they're you know most of these kids stay home from school or you know are just they just have all this free time, and the way when I logged on was when all the adults were at work because during my days off, you know I'd log in midday. Hold on, so you're saying. Uh, you're guessing, guessing. most of these kids, or some of these kids, are staying home from school to play video games? Oh, definitely. I've done it. You know what I was doing My when I was skipping school? Hmm. My girlfriend. That's what I was doing when I was <laughs> skipping school. I'm just saying. Right. Uh, wasn't My friend Carrie, um, he, used to, he almost didn't graduate high school because he kept playing Final Fantasy XI. Similar situation with me, but it was because I keep, keep, kept playing girls. Right. I almost didn't graduate high school. Well, you did it wrong. I did it right. I'm sorry to tell you guys to burst your bubble. Uh, well, no, I, well, just, I just didn't skip school, so. Uh, well, also, well like, aren't you cool? I am. Also, I noticed like nine times out of ten, the person that ruins the raid are children. Yeah. Like, everyone else, you know, is doing their thing. Well, you can't trust children. You can't trust children. No. And we always did, and then everyone would flip out. Even in the guilds that I was in, you... We'd have these children, they're like, alright, we're doing this, we're going, we're going, we're good, we're good, we're good. They ruin it, and they throw a fit and blame everyone else. And then and, quit. And then quit. And, and you're then like, everybody you, gets an Exactly, yeah. and they're like, you motherfucker, I just wasted four hours of my life to get nowhere. Yep, and swear, that's right. why I don't play WoW anymore, yep. because of those children. I, I hate that you can't, you, you're so dependent on others. You're just so, you're, and the crazy thing is, in, in certain ways, you can't ways, play the game by you're yourself. In, you're so dependent on one person. If mm -hmm. just one person isn't there, DPS... The whole plan ruined, mm -hmm. and I hate that about WoW. In the end game, that's yeah. where you, that's where Blizzard went wrong. Well, that's why uh, was I saw a preview of Miss Pandaria. They changed up a lot with that. Is that uh, the new expansion? Yeah. yeah, I'm so out of touch with what's going See, on. See, that's the, the thing. World. At this point, I, I'm, I don't even care anymore. Like yeah. they well, they yeah. actively are seeking to put mini games in it for you to waste your time. For you to Fuck waste that. For you to waste your time so that you can do something. They like they said like. We built this specifically. But I want to play the game. To well, exactly. no, the thing is, they did this specifically to give people a break because they had Burning Crusade, Lich King, and then Cataclysm, one right after the other, which were all hardcore pieces of content. Mm -hmm. And they're like, we need a breather. The players need a breather, whether they know it or not. This is the br the, the expansion that gives you the breather. Spare me. Yeah. Like I said, at this point, I don't care. I mean, yeah. during Burning Crusade or Lich King, I would have cared a lot more. But at this point, I don't even give a shit because I still want to play the core game without having to rely on 
a getting fucking a stupid twenty man order. raid. Yeah. You know, and one person leaves, we're nineteen now, and the whole raid is is trash because we're we're short a person. Well, yeah. this one, from what I was hearing, the dungeons are a lot different, a lot crazier, and there's a lot more environmental interaction. Uh, like for one, they said. There's this dungeon where you're in a brewery that was taken over by monkeys. What? Yeah. <laughs> Only in well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. Oh. Come on. Your internet said no. Well, <laughs> it did. <laughs> <laughs> um. That was taken over by monkeys, and you can like. <laughs> Twenty hours later, and you can take a barrel and like roll on it and like run over the monkeys. And, and, it, and it takes 20 people to do this? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. I thought you all got on the barrel and you're like sitting there tapping W. Alright, go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> no, they, they change it up so that you can just, you know, get in, have fun. And not have to worry about too, it. I say too uh, little, too late. But. Yeah. But they also put in other mini games like, we of course know the Pokemon Battle, Pet Battle thing. Yeah. That's stupid. Uh, play Pokemon. Uh, that's they, a different they, game. That's they, the core they, game, though, is Pokemon. Well, they, uh, they, I don't want to play Pokemon when I'm paying $15 a month. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'll yeah. pay 30 and then... They put in uh, uh, Chocobo Raising, essentially. Touche. Uh, so you find an egg, you have to take care of the egg, it'll hatch, you'll have a little baby dragon that you have to then take care of, and you have daily quests to do stuff to take care of it. And then when it gets big enough, it becomes a flying mount that you can actually use. And it's like this crazy, like, Chinese dragon thing. And you can also do races with it. And you have, like, obstacle courses you need to go through with it. Okay, I have a question about that. Alright, what if you have an old mount? Say you have the Phoenix. 300% um, speed increase. Mm -hmm. That was the fastest mount in the game. Right. Can you use that in the races? They didn't give any details. They because just said, then you just win. They didn't give any details about how it's going to work. They just said that this is in it. Okay. okay. And they, when they showed it off, they only showed the dragon. I'm sure there's faster mounts. Yeah. yeah, that's probably right. Because um, that was and, running Crusader. And they put Farmville in. Oh, God. Come on, wow. But the thing what is, doing, man? the stuff that you can harvest, you can use for your cooking and crafting and everything else. Oh, uh, okay. That's not that bad. Okay. So you have your, uh, like, a farm that's yours and you can plant whatever you want. You know what I want to tell Blizzard? Get out. Yeah, so it's like got seven new areas, and each area has a mini game like that in it. Too little, too late, I said. Yeah. Too little, too late. Anyway. Uh, uh, but anyway, back to this. Back to this uh, stupid infographic. Oh, people who play WoW, 74.7% uh, of them are dating someone who also plays WoW. This is true, I found. Uh, yeah. Whereas only 33% of them that have a, a profile on a dating site are dating someone who also has a profile on that same Why site. would you still be on the website after you found someone? I didn't make the infographic. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Next point of... Uh, uh, a man contacting 100 women can only expect one person to reply. <laughs> that is so <laughs> depressing. <laughs> oh my god. Wait for it. <laughs> uh, oh man. 100 messages you get one reply. 42% of women gamers find themselves attracted to another player. Wait, wait, wait. Out of those, okay, do you think, like, Match.com is, like, 98% men and, like, 1% women? Probably. I don't and know. And then, I'm pr like, I'm pretty another sure half a percent, like, I'm pretty sure the, live ostrich? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that... <laughs> you were expecting me to do it, huh? Yeah. I'm not going to do it. The, uh, I... Damn it. <laughs> Break this train of thought. The, uh, fuck... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm sure the percentage of men is higher than the percentage of women on any dating site. Well, of WoW players, 15% are single, which is a surprisingly low number. I can't believe that. I don't I, believe that. I don't believe it. Because it says of, play, of WoW players found. So some of them are lying <laughs> about being That just makes players. me think that they went into the game and were just chasing people down. <laughs> Let me talk to you. No. No. Are you single? That. Are you single? I don't believe that. I don't believe that uh, at all. Compared that's... to 43% uh, of Americans over 18, which are single. Wow, that's actually a higher number than I thought. For as many people as you see around running around with, with exactly. bitches. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes multiple bitches. Exactly. Uh, wild players have traveled, 24% uh, of wild players have traveled up to 30 miles to meet someone from the game. Mm -hmm. 
uh, whereas seventy five percent have traveled a uh, hundred plus miles to meet someone. That is a lot. But I've heard of that. Yeah, I hear I've stories like that, that all the time. Uh, ben worked yeah. with someone at uh, yep. SWS. What but they were playing video games. I thought they were playing WoW. No. No, no, not Ben himself. Oh. Uh, one of his coworkers from when before SWS moved to Speedway when it was behind that like. Oh, maybe. Video. Yeah. I think the guy's name was Gason. Uh. <laughs> his name was what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What was his name? Gason. Ha <laughs> <laughs> He went and... Uh, Gason? Yeah, he met a girl that he, played, he met in WoW, and he, went, he traveled like 200-something miles to, to meet her. And thankfully, it was, it was a woman. Uh, was not trying to kill him, and they went on a couple dates, and then I never heard about it again. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The rest of this uh, infographic is kind of meh. Stale. Yeah, yeah, it's like, like, it's easier to talk to when you don't have a person right in front of... You and that like, is depressing. And it's like, like you're in a you're in a high adrenaline situation and stressed. So, and women find uh, men who are in high adrenaline situations more attractive. Also, your your decision making is increased by twenty five percent. So there's none of that uh, uh when you're talking. So wait, when they see me slay a virtual dragon, they get wet. Yeah. Man. They're more likely to be <laughs> attractive. I there. I must have been a stud. Even though the my main character I used was a woman. Uh, me too. High five. Wait. Oh no, you, just us two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I was a. Uh, uh, no, I was a blood elf. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, wait. Well, I actually I could have. What was your class? Uh, uh, I was a necro at first, and then a rogue. I went straight. Uh, Not necro. Uh, <laughs> not a cat. Uh, not a. No, they weren't necros. They were warlocks. Warlocks. Right, yeah, yeah, I was a warlock. I, I went straight. I was uh, thinking. Dia I'm in Diablo mode right, still. Right. Yeah. I went straight. Uh, uh, Shadow priest. Nice. I nice. I was I was a heavy fucking hitter. Like I was I was literally glass cannon. Sit there and fucking destroy anything. But if I got hit, warlocks are glass cannons. Dude, or they I, were. If I got hit, game over for me. Like yeah, I, I, I had no PVP. I was all PVE. Like seriously, if I got to jump on someone, one hit, dead. They got to me, one hit, I was dead. It was yeah. really bad. That's funny. So yeah. yeah. No, I was all PvE. It was, it was great though. I liked doing PvE more than PvP in the game. I had a lot of fun with my Warlock. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of heavy, heavy damage. Yeah. You just gotta know how to use your character, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's good stuff. I don't miss WoW at all. I miss it sometimes. I miss Diablo, like a motherfucker. Uh, definitely Diablo. I, but every now and then I get the urge to play WoW, and then I don't. And then you put your balls in a vice. Yeah. And then remember what it was like. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I, I remember the good times, and then I keep it that way. Pretty much. Smart man. Yeah. yeah. But Diablo, I'm coming back to as soon as I get a computer. <laughs> you know this. No jack. You know this. No, yeah. no jacking you around. You already know this. I don't know why I said jack. <laughs> God. We're just. I am not jacking you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We're on point for the bad jokes today. Yeah, so we, we are. are. Jeez. All right. All right. Um, so, uh,. PBS has called Super Mario Brothers the world's greatest piece of piece of surrealist art. I think I might agree with. I that. I definitely agree with that. I think so. And th this this is a video. We'll post it in the descriptions. Right. But um, basically, what it came down to it is uh, when you see and by surrealist art, you mean or they mean like uh, the melted clocks in the desert uh, painting by uh, who did that? Oh, I forgot. I used to know. Uh, it's remember. not important, but that sort of surrealist <laughs> art right. existed then, and it was weird and surreal. But nobody really thinks about it now because the Super Mario Brothers is so part of our culture mm -hmm. that we don't think of it as That's weird. Yeah. But if you really think about it, you've got an Italian plumber eating mushrooms, getting bigger, stomping on turtles, and yeah. like jumping over like yeah. cloud. The guys in clouds throwing spikes at you and like yeah fighting gigantic turtles saving a eating a flowers and throwing fireballs right. saving a princess that's not really there who lives in in a mushroom kingdom with toad mushrooms. that is people. so like if you if you had never heard of Mario and I explain that and to then you, the colors like used as well they're yeah. all very bright and vibrant and it's, it's just like, You'd blow someone's mind. They, they'd be like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, what? I'm like, that, that doesn't sound fun at that all. That sounds <laughs> hard. It was rough. Somebody get this guy to the crazy asylum, because that does not sound... Get him to the crazy yeah. asylum. Yeah. It's like the only... Like, if this game came out 
uh, tomorrow, and there was nothing. It in wouldn't prior. sell. It, w it wouldn't sell because people go like, it makes no sense. He what doesn't is fit this? in the world. Yeah. Okay. What's the story? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> there's no cutscenes in this. There's, there's I'm, nothing. I'm, it's like imagine, imagine Mario done in like Metal Gear Solid style. <laughs> oh my god. No sneaking around. Just you know the whole like. Cutscenes and oh, uh, that's yeah, what you're referring mean, to. Yeah, no, no, not like realistic. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, when you see him, he's just like he's like sneaking against the wall and he just jumps in the air and just lands on a good <laughs> one. <laughs> if, Mario, <laughs> if Mario was done now, he wouldn't be a plumber. Okay, he'd be a knight. He probably he'd be wearing armor. He probably wouldn't be Italian either because the Italians would be like, oh my god. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know. Uh, That's right. The color scheme wouldn't uh, be so garish. It'd be like gray and browns all over. GTA Vice City. It's different. Uh, Why? Because it's like trying to portray like a time period yeah. where there was that's what was happening. They were Florida. Italian. He's, just, he's not a he time was, period. He's he was just transported into another world, and now you're being racist about it. <laughs> <laughs> Get out! <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> you racist. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, it's definitely. I would surreal. definitely agree with PBS. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I do. And I, well, my opinion is obviously biased because I grew up playing Super Mario Brothers yeah, as a young child. The, all these new children. They don't understand. They don't know nothing about They have no respect. No, nothing. They have no, no respect. No respect. No. Get off my lawn! <laughs> Damn it! You, we are old! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, you know, my, my wife is a kindergarten teacher and she tells me that they're all completely obsessed with Super Mario Brothers. But they don't know anything about Super Mario Brothers. They've never seen Super Mario Brothers. They're talking about like Galaxy. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Galaxy. Like, not even that's not even a video game. game. Yeah. Get out, little kids. That's not a game. I'm sorry. No, here, you play this. The game is sorry. Yeah, you play Super Mario Brothers and rip your hair out like I did, hating the fucking game while you love it at the same time because yeah, it's did, so fucking hard. Did I ever tell you the story how I broke down over video games? No, I, but that sounds very much like you. I, I can, broke I down. Definitely believe I that. broke down once. How and, bad. And then when I realized, I went outside. <laughs> How old were you? Please tell me you were under 10. I was under 10. Okay, good. I would think it was like 8. I once got so mad at Mega Man 3, uh, or maybe Mega Man 5, I think it was. Uh, I got so mad at, at it. At least your game was cool. <laughs> what was it? The Lion King for the Genesis. That was a hard game. It was no, that was, that was, it was a hard game. You put hard. that down. No. Okay. You Back played, in the day, those game. Disney games were I not played no shit. I you played it. Why would impossible. you get that upset? Because I wanted to beat it <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I wanted to beat it! I wanted it so bad. <laughs> oh, man. No, like, it was impossible. Mega Man 5 was impossible if you're 8. Lion King. I, I'll impossible. beat the dog shit out of that game now, but, well, right. actually, that's not true. It's still pretty hard, but. Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, the Lion King, when you were 8 or 8. What, so, what did you do when, when you couldn't beat it? What, 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 did, what made you rage quit? What made me rage quit yeah. is that you, you you hang on these little like I guess ledges and you yeah. swing back and forth yeah, and, and of you course jump the... you jump to the next one right well there's this one part um, that was fucking impossible like I would literally fly to the next one and my character would be hovering right on it and I I fucking see it hit it but it just wouldn't catch like it was just something was fucked up I the bet game. there was a different route that you were supposed to take or something. No, because I've caught it before and got further, you know, previously. Oh. And, but, you know, every now and then, it just wouldn't catch. And eventually, I'd, get, I'd piss because it's like, you're wasting my lives. Like, what the fuck? You know, so I what did you do when you raged? I remember quit? lives. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah. kids, man. Remember the phrase, I got another guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. One up. Um... No, I, I pulled a Ben, I bit my controller, started crying. Ben bit his controller? Yeah, you know. Ben yeah, bit a disc. Ben, ben bit a disc. Ben also bit his controller over Daytona USA. <laughs> what? So that was I, Ben's. How did I not that know was, that about Ben? I've known him like 19 years and that I've was, never known that. That was Ben's rage quit. It was over Biting Daytona a USA. Controller. Yeah, wow. I think we've all had one. My rage quit was uh, The Lion King. I bit the controller, I cried, then I realized how stupid it was. That you were crying over the Lion King game. I was crying over the Lion King game. I was like, fuck this. I turned it off and I fucking just went outside. And then, and like I said, Ben's, he was playing Daytona USA and he, and I was there, it was on the Saturn. <laughs> he got angry, bit his controller, ruined his X button, and then, and then quit. <laughs> what? That was his rage quit. Wow. Uh, I, Mine think, was... I think everyone's had at least one. I've had I've two had actually, now that yeah. I think about it. One was Battletoads. Which uh, is impossible. I'm sorry, that game is impossible. Battletoads. 
and the other one was Mega Man Five. And uh, he says the, Battletoads is not not hard. No, I didn't. You you once you me, you have to memorize the game. Yeah. You don't. There's not. There was a time. There's when, no aspect of skill. You just have to memorize the game. There was a time. Uh, I played it with my neighbor. We played it so much mm. that we could like speed run. And I'm pretty sure to this I'm day, very sure that's possible. I'm pretty sure to this day, I'm still pretty fair at it. You know, because we played the shit out of that game. It was the one for the Nintendo, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 No, because, you know, when you're when you're on the hovercraft and you have to yes, jump over... The, that was it, the you most literally, difficult yeah, part at, of the game. At some parts, it becomes so fast you cannot react to it. You just have to know what it's coming. Exactly. You have to be killed by it, like... 19 times before you remember, oh, there's three of them over here and two yeah, of them over we, here. Because it's never random. Started, if it was random, it would be the most complete, we, impossible game you've ever heard We started of. counting. That's yeah. how we do it. Yep. We go on paper and we count. We just make tallies. We're like, dun 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 dun. Okay. Right, and yeah. then we're like, as we're looking at the paper and like the screen, we're like, oh, 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 Yeah, oh. exactly. And so that's, that's not we're, really. That's, what we did. that's not. And that's you know, not in video, fun. Game, in video not, games, you don't work. do that these yeah. days. You don't exactly. do that. No, although we did bust out the. Pat and pen for a, a puzzle in Kingdoms of Hamlet. Yeah, we, only for one. Well, and it was stupid. Yeah, it was stupid. I did it for Castle. But that's a different Castle type of game. Well. It, it's not a side scroller. It's not an action right, game. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, mine was Mega Man Five and Battletoads, where I had a rage quit. Yeah. And I, uh, when when it was Mega Man Five, I pressed the button so hard, <laughs> I thought I was gonna go Super Saiyan <laughs> and turn into wait, the wait, whole wait, 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 wait. Down, down and B? It was, no, it was, it was right and A. Or B, yeah. Right and A, I was just like... Argh! And then, um, uh, yeah, Battletoads, I threw my controller at the TV. Back when TVs weren't pussies. Right. <laughs> and you could throw a controller at a TV. You could throw a controller at a TV and break the controller. Yeah, <laughs> you could TV. Do. No. Today's TVs, these fucking kids with their TVs. Yeah, they're Wiimotes. Throwing Wiimotes through really the TVs. Thin. Yeah, no. No, I uh, broke that fucking controller on my TV and my mom was like... What? <laughs> what are you? Get out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Get out. Uh, oh, I, I think I, I rage quit. The earliest game I rage quit on was uh, Decap Attack. Ah, uh, that's a good game. Yeah. I don't for the all. Genesis. Oh! The guy with the face goes, that was a good one. Yeah. yeah. It was a good game, but I rage quit on that one. That was the earliest game I rage quit. Versus the computer or versus one of your friends? Computer. Okay. Okay, and uh, I've also rage quit on every Final Fantasy seven and up. <laughs> <laughs> From seven, you rage quit on seven. I rage quit on a part seven. I I, I was rage going quit. against one of the weapons like emerald or ruby. Really? Yeah. I I never rage quit because on they could just one hit kill you, and I yeah. like after like after like four hours. You're, of you're trying just, to beat it? Yeah, you're just not in the right state of mind oh. to be beaten that again. Reminds yeah. me. You know what? I did rage quit on one other game. Final Fantasy Thirteen, the online one? No, no, no. that was Thir eleven. Yeah, eleven. Yeah. No, thirteen was the one that came out for the Xbox. It was like thirteen two now, oh. because my characters maxed out, mm -hmm. right? Couldn't go any further. Last boss has this hit or this this attack. It has a certain percent to hit you one hit kill. That's stupid. I played it. I played the boss fight thirteen times. Doesn't matter how strong you are. If you get hit with this, one hit kill. All your characters or just one of them? Um, all of them. Let me watch me do it. Come on, Square. Yeah. Uh, so I played it gay. 13 times, the boss fight. And each time it got to a certain part, it was like, okay, here it comes. Oh, he didn't do it. Okay, here it comes. Oh, he didn't do it. And then, like, I got so close one time, literally one hit away, did it, wiped me out. I was like, are you fucking kidding? I threw my fucking hat. <laughs> And that was it. Was I it? never beat the game because of no, that. No, I saw the ending of the game. You know what's uh, yeah. funny? I just, what? Uh, my, my roommates at the time, they beat the game. Never happened once. They just did it. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, it's crazy. It didn't Mirrors happen my witness. I just fucking sat and played it 13 times. <laughs> they weren't even max level. Yeah. Okay, they were just like, oh, final boss. Yeah. Dead. The, the thing was. It was long, but it was like, oh, okay. The no, thing I was with it. me, like, he, his normal attacks weren't, like, hurting me that much. You know, it was that one attack. Right, yeah. That would destroy me. That's know? stupid. Yeah. That's stupid, I'm sorry. Yeah. Plus 13, you had uh, whichever one was the key one that you were using. If that one died, that one died. your party died. That's it. That's, they that's fixed that in uh, 13 too. About time. Yeah. No, no I, I, after 7, uh, which was for me the pinnacle, and I'm sure I'll get flamed for saying that, but I like seven it was most, all right. downhill after that. I played, I, liked, I played halfway through 8, and I'm like, this is fucking bull. bull I didn't like 8, bull I dick. played through it, I loved 9. Yeah. The, the, way the last one that I liked, kind of, was 10, and 10-2, but oh, I, I don't know why the fuck they didn't put out 7-2. 
They should have did that. Or I just want them to remake Seven. That's it. Indeed. Um, Don't I touch it. Just pretty it up and re-release it. Yeah. Yeah. The way it goes for me is I like Seven, Nine, and then Eight. Those are my favorite ones. In that order. In that order. I played Nine. Didn't like it. Really? I, I liked it better than Eight. I'll give you that. Yeah. But I didn't like it. I like Ten. I like the the what were the little uh, balls? What are they? The spheres. The spheres. Spheric they were system. mana. Spheric no, system. not mana. They were, whatever. I like that system. Uh, but after that, I completely lost oh, interest. Wait, the materia? Materia. Okay, yeah. yeah. I just didn't. It was not anything as close to seven. And looking back, seven did not age well. It no, is it a very it. ugly game. It did. Well, at but the time, it, it's well, still, it still has a special place in my heart. Different than like all the subsequent ones. Yeah. Is the, all the backgrounds were CGI rendered yeah. and not. Uh, That's what made it so great. Asian. I think. Yeah. And, and so like you had shitty looking characters in like beautiful landscapes. Mm -hmm. Which I appreciated. It blew I, your fucking mind. Every single time I won, I was like, why does the background look like shit? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Every, every single game that was out then, the coolest thing that looked like awesome was yeah. like Donkey Kong Country. Right. So yeah. going from like Donkey Kong Country to like Final Fantasy VII, you're like, what is this? You're like, how? <laughs> You know, oh, man, I had the best material uh, set up in seven. I don't remember mine, to be honest. No, I mine, know. I remember because I sat and like, I worked at it. Like, you did homework. I yeah, did, I did, I did homework. homework. You had graphs okay. and laser pointers. No. So <laughs> you're telling yourself, you're like, this, this, this goes with that. <laughs> that works with this. No, so what I what I had was, um, I had Cloud have a perfect cover, so he would take the hit for every other character, but in that was set up with a uh, link to uh, uh, counter. Mm -hmm. So he would attack back every time he got hit. So it didn't matter who got hit. The he would got hit. Oh, that's okay. pretty that dirty. Pretty and dirty. That's, that's... But the thing is, he also had counter attack, which at, which uh, procs differently than counter because counter goes when a certain thing happens. Uh, counter will uh, will do an attack that you link to it. So I had death blow hooked up to counter. So every time he got hit, he did a death blow, which means he did the max damage. But he also had counter attack, which means anytime you get hit, you hit back. So he would hit effectively twice. Mm. But I had also a four times cut, which means when he does a normal attack, he attacks four times. And counter attack counts as a normal attack. So every time he got hit, he would death blow, and then he would hit again four times, doing max God damage damn. each time. That's genius. It's sad that he remembers this. <laughs> yeah. It I was so perfect. It was, <laughs> that's pretty perfect, actually. And, and, and all and, I had to do was keep healing him, and no one else got hurt. And like, I would use one to heal him, and the other one would just do Knights of the Rounds. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, so it was just like, we're beating the game! We're beating the game! We're beating the game! Woo! A gun in one hand, and like you're going like this. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. We have, wow. We're, we're a fucking crew, all right. Jesus. I, before we change subject, I wanted to throw one more thing in there. My yeah. uncle uh, had a rage quit. That was pretty funny. It was my first rage How quit. How old was he? He was 28. I think okay, I this better be good. All right, it was when the Saturn came out. Right, Saturn no, is not awesome. Saturn. No, Saturn. Sega CD. Oh. Sega CD. Oh, that, right. not so awesome. Yeah. He, he had, we had fun. Uh, he but, rage quit on Sonic R. No. <laughs> he, he actually rage quit on Sewer Shark. I don't know if you guys have ever played that I've game. I've never even heard of that it's, game. It's, a, it's pretty fun. It's like a memory. Does it involve game. sewers or sharks? It does. Okay. I'd be crazy if it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sewer shark! A game where you garden! <laughs> <laughs> so no, no. I you control a happy-go-lucky squirrel. <laughs> I think it was about 28 years old, and it was my first rage quit I've ever witnessed. And he actually, like, went with the controller. <laughs> That's awesome. He was like, ah! <laughs> He went Super Saiyan. <laughs> That's oh, tight. Man. And it was great. Was he bald? He, uh, well, his hair was kind of short, but he wasn't bald. Is he bald now? Uh, no. No? Do we you know any bald people? I don't know any bald people. My, my dad was, uh, was bald. Your dad was bald? Dad was bald. My, uh, my grandpa rocked the, the John Luke card. Nice. Yeah. Well, uh, apparently that wouldn't be an issue, a, anymore. An issue anymore. Yeah. Mm. According to this uh, blog post, right. scientists have worked out how to stop you from going bald. Yep. About time. Rogue, yeah. That just proves Rogaine was bullshit. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, basically, I guess there's some, uh, like, fatty tissue yeah. 
in your in your head, like scalp. <laughs> You got a fat head. You got a fat head. <laughs> My hair can't get through. Oh, man. Your head needs to go on a diet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's not really much to be said about that other yeah. than what the fuck took scientists so goddamn long to figure it out. Uh, the thing is, like, it means nothing for me. I don't have to worry about and it. Neither do I. Yeah. Neither really. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, um, weird boner. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, not, baldness does not run in my family at all. It doesn't, it doesn't run in my mom's side at all, but it runs on my dad's side, but you, you take care after your mom. Same, same, with, yeah. same with me. I mean, if you, you saw, you see my grandmother, if, if, if yeah. I have all holds, I'm going to have... Your grandma's got a full head of hair that, like, rivals my hair. Yeah. Yeah. And, and on top of that, she has barely any gray in it, too, so... My dad doesn't have any gray, either. That's crazy. Oh, I, I, I'll go gray like crazy. I've yeah. been going gray since she's, elementary school. She's 80 so. years old and has, like, just now, she's got a little bit of gray streak right here. My dad's in his 50s, and he's got, like, more... I mean, he's got some gray, but he's not, like... When I see other 50-year-olds, I'm like, Jesus, what are you, 100? <laughs> My dad looks like he's in maybe his late 30s or something, uh, hair-wise, as far as right. grays. Like, he doesn't have very much gray hair, so... Yeah. I'm all set, and I have a lot of hair to begin with, so, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, but still, it's, it's, re it's, refre uh, it's refreshing to know... That they figured it out. That should something so, happen. Yeah. So they, what do they do? Do they just pull back. a fat out of your head? No, they got a solution that just like gets rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> they should make that for your fat ass too. <laughs> Put some solution on this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then your hair will. <laughs> you like won't be fat, but you'll have fucking Sasquatch ass. <laughs> Oh, you're dear just boy. sitting one day and you're using it, and like you could just actually see the hair like growing. Oh, <laughs> oh god! <laughs> be like, I'm, I'm a this monster. <laughs> grows through your fingernails. Oh, oh gross, oh, man. Harry Palms. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody looks like me. <laughs> 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 you know why? I said Harry Palms. You guys are all. <laughs> you know why, right? Why is that? You know why you get Harry Palms, right? Yeah, I know why you get Harry Palms. Yeah. yeah. Course. Okay. Does everyone know? Yes. Do you guys know? I don't think they know. Maybe you should tell them. Uh, you masturbate too much. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought that was hilarious. But you just like... <laughs> no, I like that he looked at you. <laughs> he goes, he goes, you masturbate, masturbate too <laughs> much. much. I just fucking lost it. <laughs> oh man, that reminds me in middle school. <laughs> 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 Gilbert used to, I would bite my nails, and I still do it every now and then, but Gilbert would look at me when I'll bite my nails, he's like, you know, biting your nails means you masturbate too much. What? <laughs> like it happened, he said that like every day for years. You're like, why is that on your mind? <laughs> what, do you want to watch me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. oh my God, that's too much. Masturbating too much. <laughs> Masturbating. Oh, I can't wait to watch that oh. video. Okay, and lastly, yeah. oh, on yeah. our topics of discussion. This one's fun. <laughs> this, this, this came up today. Apparently, yeah. uh, an industrious woman s has smuggled five pounds of heroin in her stomach. Yep. I want to know if she swallowed them or if she shoved them up the no, butt. She swallowed them. They Did found, she? They found them in her, in her gut. Maybe she... Shoved them really deep in her butt. Mm. <laughs> what? What were they in? That's what uh, I want to know. They, they but why wouldn't they like come apart in her stomach? Yeah, seriously. Like, they weren't like gel caps. <laughs> what were they like? Like plastic. Like you'll die. <laughs> if well, you leave them in there. Five pounds is a lot. Yeah, yeah. First five pounds is a lot. Second, our our stomach acids like eat away at some metal. So yeah, but not like everything. Like you can hold stomach acid in a container in a type of container. Not my containers. <laughs> well, you don't have acid. <laughs> okay. Where's your stomach acid, asshole? <laughs> and where are you storing it? In my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, no, she had it in there, and I like how it was only found because when they were patting her down, they're like, your stomach's a little hard. <laughs> we need to get you an x-ray. <laughs> yeah, it seems pretty inappropriate that it, she would have gotten caught. It's crazy, too, that she, she was 52 years old. She needed the hey, money. Dude, it was $150,000 worth of but hair. Hold on a second. But You're telling me you guys money. would not have done it for $150,000. No, I'm telling pounds. you right now, I would have done it. Not okay, five pounds. $150,000 for five pounds of dookie? No. Give me three. 
I'd have done I can't hide. I can't hide five pounds. I'm, I'm right. fat. Okay. I wouldn't have done it. Although I'm Mexican, Period. so I probably would have gotten caught for some other bullshit. They'd be like, "Wait a second, he's Mexican. X-ray him." <laughs> Fucking beer. Just put it in pouches, like here. Exactly. Put it in your armpits. <laughs> but it doesn't stop them from like feeling you. Oh, it does. Ooh, because now you're lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Get this guy out of here, he's lumpy. Get, get out. He gets the stuff to make it look like it's part of you, and they're exactly. like, Ugh. They're like, what's this? Tumors. Please don't touch them. <laughs> it hurts. It a lot. It a lot. Oh, man. A lot. And then they x-ray, and they just see, like, these bubbles. And you're, they're just like, oh, shit. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> get this man to a hospital. Oh, man. Yeah. That's too bad. So I guess that pretty much wraps it up, right? Yeah. I mean, we've only got, like... Really, well, the Amiga's back. That's cool, I guess. It's not really that cool. I saw the article and I didn't want to post it because I'm like, who cares? Yeah. Amiga's so fucking old, the Commodore and all that. Yeah. I don't even know why Commodore's like trying to come back. I don't know. I mean, they're still going for the same design, like the computers exactly. on the keyboard. It's, the keyboard looks terrible. Yeah, it does. It's just too... Because they, they're like, they tr actively tried to go for the old retro look. Yeah. Like, it looks like an old Commodore. And like, That's exactly what I There's a reason why the at. Commodore failed exactly. to like, <clears throat> compare it to uh, the Apple one. No, not Apple one, the Apple two. Yeah. Okay, because it looked like shit well, and it ran like shit. And now it just looks like a Mac Mini. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just But not... uglier. Yes. Because it's got Amiga, like, written <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah. Like, Stamped. carved into it. Yeah. No, I'm not. I don't care about that. Yeah. The other thing was sound lasers, but it's a pretty uninteresting story, just because it sounds like shit. But it is a pretty cool techie kind of article that you might want to look into. Uh, not a really a lot to be said, it's just kind of like completely directional. So like if you have it pointed at you exactly like this, you'll hear it, and then if, as soon as you point it that way, you won't hear it. That reminds me of this thing, I was uh, watching Dude. this TED talk, and they were talking about uh, a way like the problems with auditoriums is that like yes they're designed to carry the voice but after a while you know it degrades uh audio degrades uh, oh, for right. distance yeah and the farther back you are you don't get the same experience if you're right. like going to an opera or a play or right. whatever yeah and he was talking about it's like it's like i invented this technology that's this gun and you like he can calibrate it so that he can shoot audio so that it it interrupts itself, so it only produces at the interval of each seat. Okay, so in between the seats, there's no audio, you won't hear shit. But when you're sitting normally, you'll hear it as if the sound source is right here, next to you. But if you move forward, it's gone, or if you move back, it's gone. So each person gets their own personalized, almost like headphone view of, of what's going on. That sounds incredibly expensive. And I'm sure it sounds like shit, just like the sound laser. I don't know. He was demoing. He's like, he's like, check this out. He's like, I'm gonna switch my input to it. And he was like, now you can. <laughs> hmm. Um, I would want one of these just to screw with people across the street. <laughs> yeah. Be like, ah! <laughs> and they're just like freaking out. <laughs> Oh, help me! <laughs> Zombies! <laughs> so, Duck! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. No, that would be cool. But the reason I don't like it is because I don't want to call myself an audiophile, but I, I am very particular about my sound. Everything and you have is flat. What's that? Everything you have is flat. No, oh. actually, not a lot of it is. Damn, but I, I, I most do of have, my own stuff was. I do have $200 needles on my turntables. Ah, there we go. So, you know. You know, I, I, I got a good ear for, for quality audio, and um, it just, there's no bass. It's all it's all highs. There's hardly ever even any mids in it, in, in the sound laser. So to me, it just sounds like crap. Will they be able to fix it? I doubt it, because low frequencies don't only produce sound. They are vibration of air. Mm -hmm. And if you're vibrating air, it's not any, any longer omnidirectional. You'll be able to feel it. You know what I mean? Right. You won't be able to hear it necessarily but you'll be able to feel the bass and that ruins the whole point of this yeah. is that it's you know it's quiet when you're it's not pointed at you so to me yeah if you're you know whatever if you're at your desk and you're listening to am radio anyway who gives a crap but yeah i think there wouldn't be a solution for guys like myself i think that yeah. they intended to be for when someone's talking yeah uh, or using it as the uh 
if you have a sound system as the, the forward uh, forward speaker, just so you get the treble, not the bass part of it. So if you walked away and you don't hear it, you can carry a conversation elsewhere, but when you come back, you have this perfect like experience. And because sometimes dialogue's hard to hear in certain movies. For some no, reason. that's true. Yeah. yeah. This is totally why I couldn't be an engineer, though. What? Uh -huh. Well, Amir knows. Like oh he's... yeah, because he wanted he wanted to hook up he wanted a car that he could hook up the uh, the horn to the brake. So every time you and he played it as like a practical joke. Every time someone went to uh, press the brake, the thing honked at them. You could totally do that. No, that's the thing. Like I I just do that all the time. I wouldn't do anything with my engineering. <laughs> it wouldn't be anything practical. No, just be like, <laughs> just like fucking with people. I troll everybody all the time. I have. You know, it'd be awesome to hook up. The the um, the horn to like the turn signal. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah. That would be tight. Oh, and they're man. just like, no, I can't. Or or even your headlights. That would be incredibly obnoxious. <laughs> It'd be like driving around at night with your <laughs> <the> headlights. <laughs> oh. No, man. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then I'd make a bunch of you know small uh, EMPs and just place them around town. See, that's just the dick move. The I put them at funny. bus stops. <laughs> As if they don't have it bad enough. <laughs> Fuck you, poor people. <laughs> I'm ruining your phone. That costs you free because you can't afford it. Costs you free. <laughs> yeah, it costs you a signature. Well, on top asshole. of that, I'd also wait till the bus got there too. <laughs> You're such a dick. I mean, the bus like the <laughs> people would be losing their jobs. And shit. <laughs> You know, it's so bad, but we're all wow. laughing at it. <laughs> wow. And this is why God didn't want me to become an engineer. <laughs> He's like, get, get this guy away from engineering. Exactly. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, I guess yeah. that wraps up the yeah, show. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah. Um, Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Please leave us comments. Like, even, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I, I, oh, God, I hate saying it, but it lets us know that you're watching and yeah. enjoy yeah. Our, our labor, you mm. know, and uh, I mean, it's always a good thing to let us know what you think. Yeah. Give us any suggestions or even topics to talk about, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, also, you can uh, find us at recaptech.com, uh, Twitter at, at recaptech. You can find me at, at Art Montessor on Twitter, uh, Adam on the go. Uh, you, you have a Twitter, but you don't use it. I have it. a Twitter, I don't use it. It's he doesn't Twitter, use his either. Twitter slash DJ Mojo 85. My YouTube is. YouTube slash DJ Mojo eighty five, and uh, I'm posting some some pretty good interesting videos, and I'll be posting a new dubstep slash drum step slash drum and bass. All the steps. Set. Pretty much all the steps, if, and and some some drum and bass. If you need some dancers, I don't. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good on dancers. Thank you. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't think you are. I think you're I'm just pretty lying. good on, on we'll, dancers. We'll pull it just I'll like, tell you what. The next gig I play, you guys can come. Sounds good. Alright, I'll do it just like the church people. We'll get a green screen. The church people? Yeah. Super Sundays? Yeah. We'll put a link to that. Yeah. yeah. It is good stuff. Super Sundays. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah. Uh, that's Mir, Sergio, and Jose. Yeah. Cheers.